type in the password you made if you made a password. From here you can set up your new Windows XP machine. The installation is complete. To further this tutorial you'll need to insert your Ubuntu install CD into the machine. Once the CD is inserted you will need to restart this machine. I will pause the video and do this now. Once you've inserted the Ubuntu install CD, power on your machine. Make sure you choose the boot from CD option. You'll see the screen when it boots from the CD. Select your language by using the arrow keys and pressing enter. If you would like to try Ubuntu before you install it, you can do so by choosing the first option. We're going to choose the second option to install Ubuntu for this tutorial. I'm going to pause the video while this is loading. Once the installer is finished loading, you'll see this screen. Select your language and hit forward. Select your time zone and hit forward. If you have a non-US keyboard or it does not detect your keyboard settings correctly, choose your keyboard settings. On this screen, you want to hit Specify Partitions Manual and hit Forward. From here, you want to click Free Space, New Partition, select the size, I'm going to make mine 10 gigs. ext3 is the file system you want. The mount point you want to set as this slash right here which stands for root. Click OK. Linux uses two partitions so we'll need to create another one. This partition will be your swap partition which is typically <clears throat> twice the size of the RAM in your computer. So if you have 512 RAM you want to use a gigabyte in your swap partition. If you have a gig you want to use two gigs in your swap. I'm going to use the remaining in my swap. From the use as menu you're going to select swap area there is no mount point, you just click OK. From here, once that is finished, hit forward. At the top up here, you will want to enter <coughs> the computer's username. Choose a password if you need. Verify your password. You can select it to log in 
automatically or require a login. Once you finished, hit forward. From here, you can import your user settings from Windows XP. We'll, we will not do this in this tutorial. Hit forward. This shows <clears throat> the settings you have set up before you install. You can verify the settings if you know what you're looking at. For us, we'll just hit install. Ubuntu Installer is now formatting your hard drives and will copy the necessary files to install Ubuntu. We're going to pause the video until this is finished. My setup is just about to complete. Once you do this, the system will reboot. Before it reboots, it will ask you to remove the Ubuntu CD from the drive. The installation is now complete. Select Restart Now. Ubuntu will ask you to remove the Ubuntu install CD from the drive. Once you do so, press enter. Once your machine reboots, you'll be greeted with a new menu. Your new menu will look something like this. The first option here is to boot to Ubuntu Linux. The last option is to boot into your Windows XP. Now you have a dual boot system. At boot up time you can choose whether to boot into Ubuntu or Microsoft X Windows XP. By default your system will boot automatically into Ubuntu but you can change this by pressing the up and down keys at boot time. Thank you.